Oh, Albert, Jamie's Rock and Soul is doing another one of his top tens. He's bringing the families back to Blackpool. Yay! <laughs> Joy, you're needed on a mission today. We're doing another top 10. Well, look what the tide dragged in. Whew. Looks like a cow's head. Here is your weather forecast for the day. Jamie's rock and soul. The skies are clear. The tower's looking majestic. But we need the sun to come out. Oh, we've got people out fishing today, look. What a day for it. Good morning, viewers, and welcome to my channel. Good to see you all again. Jamie's Rock and Soul's back on the telly. Well, what we're doing today, I'm going to tell you. Joy. We've got a job to do today. Stop admiring Blackpool's beautiful scenery. Come on, we've got a top 10 to do. Viewers, I'm gonna need to tell you over a cup of coffee. Bottoms up. Oh. Okay. So today, viewers, we're doing the official top 10 TripAdvisor family bed and breakfast offering value for money for granddad grandma mum dad the kids with a breakfast as well that's all you need on your plate i want to show you the location for each of these top 10 uh, number 10 is on crystal road down there and it's in between south pier and central pier so it's just down there review not traveler spent two nights here over easter weekend the staff are very friendly the rooms are comfortable and very clean a good location within walking distance to south and central pier a good breakfast and they definitely stay again great value for money and a tip there's a car park nearby that's pretty cheap on to number nine now, just a short trip. So here we arrive at number nine. I'll show you uh, where it is in proximity to everything. It's a little bit further away from south, but it is a lot closer to town. It's near Manchester Square uh, with Central Pier just in the distance. Number nine is the Dutchman Hotel. So Sean from Durham recently visited, saying it was his new favourite Golden Coast Hotel, saying it was lovely, modern, clean, tidy, great facilities, nothing was too much for them, beautiful breakfast, well-placed, they're coming back again. It's a great competition with the other hotels, brilliantly priced for the drinks at the bar. Five out of five. On our way to number eight now, uh, we, had, we need to head up Queen's Promenade. Could be a bit of a ride this one. So we need to head that way and head towards Bispam. Me and Joy, we've got a little ride about two and a half miles that way. Titty ye not, you see some things on your travels. Good afternoon to you, sir. Bye. Certainly. Won't be sat on the wall on a windy day on my telephone. So viewers, we arrive at the number eight in the official top 10 of family bed and breakfast. This one is called the Queen's Plaza Hotel. So if you come and stop here a lot, you get a lovely view of Barrow in the distance. Uh, there's the tramway. There's a tram coming down. And just where them cars are at the top, uh, that's Bispam, that's where all the shops are. So recently a uh, John wrote, who stopped at Easter weekend, uh, he referred to the buffet there, saying the buffet breakfast was great. It was the largest buffet choice he had ever seen in the UK. Set them up for the day. 
also complimenting on how uh, clean the rooms were, absolutely spotless. It gives it 5 out of 5, close to all amenities. Okay, that was number 8. Back into Blackpool now for number 7 with the wind behind me. Come on, Joy. Just literally a one minute walk south uh, and you arrive at Bispam Shops. Uh, you might want to try that place out. It's highly rated Bispam Kitchen and all the shops down there. But we need to be going that way, back to Blackpool for number seven. Shall we have a moment, Joy, and take in this breathtaking scenery? Right here, uh, just coming in to Blackpool, look. Got all these rocks and the go-kart track. Don't worry, I'm being careful. And uh, I think I'm gonna stop for a coffee break right here. Oh, the sun is shining. You can wait a little minute longer, number seven. So to our next destination, we're going to Reeds Avenue. There's Central. We need to be going that way. So we've arrived at number seven in the list. Uh, it's the Laurels Bed and Breakfast. I'll show you where it is. That's Coronation Street leading up to town. And that's leading you, you're two minutes away from the sea. Uh, the new car park and the Golden Mile just behind that building. So oh, Lippy stayed recently and commented on how clean and tidy this place was, how close it is to all the main activities. Uh, in October they got a room for only £45, a lovely breakfast, towels and a tea making station as well. A budget hotel in a prime location, 5 out of 5 on TripAdvisor, what more could you want? Okay. So now we move on to number six in our top 10. Uh, we now need to go to St. Luke's Road in South Shore. So we need to head south. I'll be there in about seven minutes. As I scan round, you can see uh, the health spa, the new bingo place, the drive through McDonald's, some new housing, the football ground. This is Central Car Park. We need to be heading down there to St. Luke's Road. So heading to number six, there's the Pleasure Beach. We need to be going down here, down Watson Road. Uh, you're near the uh, South Train Station and South Pier. Here we are at number six viewers and with the kind permission of uh, the owner of this establishment, um, I'm going to be able to show you a little bit of the gardens. It's just off uh, Livam Road. And check this out. It really is a top quality place located at South Shore. Here's a recent review from Stephen. He's been coming for 15 years. Fabulous stay. Lovely host. Top rated hospitality and food. Claire and the team make an effort every single time. And they come back time and time again with their family. So, St. Luke's. You must be doing something right. What a beautiful place. Relaxing times by the pond. What do you think, ducks? Just so you know this one, it is family friendly, but they don't have children under the age of five in this one. So maybe a family, but a grown up family for this particular place. Just so you know, off we go to number five. In our search for number five, we are heading this way. You've got the Solaris Centre in the distance. That's the Pleasure Beach over there. So we're at South Shore and we just need to head somewhere over there. So here we are, we've arrived at Harrowside West and it's in a brilliant location. I'll show you. So right there, you've got the Solaris Centre and then the Mirror Ball over to the Irish Ocean and the hotel is right here look at that balcony is the lot looks lovely doesn't it number five 
Helen came recently. She said it was superb. Um, she came here completely based on the reviews. The owners and the staff are friendly. The bedding, good, clean, quality, lovely and soft. The breakfast was superb. The best she'd had in a long time. Great location. Tram stop over the road. Five minutes from the pier. go into Dean Street and we need to head north about a mile. We've arrived at uh, near South Pier, we're actually outside the Sandcastle, um, heading to Dean Street uh, for number four. There's South Pier and the Pleasure Beach there and this is Dean Street. You're literally uh, 30 seconds from the seafront right here and uh, we'll show you the place. Number four. Victoria visited this beautiful place recently saying there were pristine rooms, a perfect host and an amazing breakfast. Absolutely yummy. Uh, in between central and south, I'll show you. So we've got South over there, hopefully not Alan Bradley there, and Central over there, and this is Woodfield Road. Let's go and have a look at the hotel. Well, what can you say about this little gem? Uh, Jemima stayed recently, had an exceptional stay, very pleasant, a family of four, big family room, it was looked after, nothing too much trouble breakfast exceptional the kids loved it and they even got a goodie bag at the departure how's that in the trip advisor charts of family bed and breakfast i'll just show you where we are now there's a lot of regeneration work going around going on around here at the moment and um, that central pier behind that building it takes you onto the promenade God, oh, that's been there for years, that. And this is Havelock Street. Uh, so here's the hotel. It's called Bradbury's of Blackpool. Exciting. It's number two. Well, there's a good reason why this one's number two. Uh, some people went recently. It was Jason. Had an amazing stay. They took the family. They could even take the dog. The owner even made sure the dog got a sausage every morning. The owner, Kelly, makes you feel like you're at home, and when you leave, you feel like friends. Number two. Well, it's been a long old bike ride today, but we've finally arrived at El Capitan. Numero uno. Number one family bed and breakfast in the whole of Blackpool. And it's right here on St. Chad's Road. So St. Chad's Road is just a stone throw away from the sea. Fixed in between South and Central. And here we are, after a long day in the sunshine, we've finally arrived at number one. I'll show you. It looks very nice. And this little gem is right there at number one. Teresa stayed recently, said she had a wonderful stay. What a place. An amazing stay with Steve and Elaine. Hospitality, second to none. And as an extra comment, Elaine, you certainly know how to cook. Thank you very much, the both of you. Number one. A few moments later. Back at where we started the journey, viewers. Uh, right back here in the centre of Blackpool. That was your top 10 family bed and breakfast official from TripAdvisor. I've done a few miles, you know. I think I need a cup of coffee and a chip butty. Glorious sunshine, mission completed. Joy's still intact. She's done her job for another day. James is rock and soul. It's his time to relax. If you enjoy
enjoyed the content don't forget to hit that big like button of course you need to get notified by the the bell and get that subscription sorted out I'm going to enjoy the Irish coast with a brew and a chip buddy so until the next time on the next adventure Love yes.